Hello my fellow book nerds, in this video I'm going to show you my fall reading list. Now I know in the last video, I believe, I said, oh the college books video, it was that one, where I said that that was probably going to be my reading list, but I wanted to dive into some fiction books and then non-classics pretty much, because pretty much all I'm reading right now is classics and I wanted to get into the books that I truly love, like fantasy and um, young adults and children's books. So that's what this video is going to be about. My fall reading list for, well, my fall reading list. That's all it is. Okay, but if you're new here, my name is Crystal and please subscribe to this channel. I make videos all about books and we do book reviews, we do reading lists and pretty much anything about books. So yeah, please subscribe and watch this video to the end to please support my channel because it really does help. And like this video okay so let's jump right into it so the first book that is on my fall reading list was actually already on my summer reading list I just didn't get a chance to read it it was the invisible library by Genevieve Cogman I believe that's how you say your name this book is obviously fiction and it's like a fantasy sci-fi ish movie where it's pretty much like different dimensions and this woman is a I guess you could say a spy I guess and she jumps from dimension to dimension to dimension finding very um, unique what is, what's the word they use um, important works of fiction from all different realities it's pretty interesting so far I think I read like the first chapter I haven't like delved deep into it because I started reading another book but that is one of my books for the fall reading list. It is so far pretty good, so we'll see how it keeps going. The second book that is on my fall reading list is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. So I've heard a lot about this book, like a lot, and I thought, okay, it's, it's time, I need to read it, and it is probably the most fascinating read. Like severely interesting. I did not expect that at all. I never even knew what it was about until like, I finally picked it up and read the back and the frame, my first thought was what? What? And then throughout the whole book I'm still saying what? Like what? It's so so weird but it's really fascinating and funny and entertaining. I must admit I'm almost done with it. Like, I caught it like last week so it's you know it's pretty good so far <laughs> i like the cover i think it's funny i honestly thought it was like a serious book because it's a classic right so you think a serious book <laughs> it's not at all i i think it's so interesting but <clears throat> and i'll give you a book review afterwards maybe i'll think about it i'm still doing aragon for book reviews um okay so the other books i do not have with me because i'm going to be slowly buying them as I finish these books because if I buy everything all at once that's a lot of money so I prefer breaking it up okay so the third book in my fall reading list is the fifth season that's what's called yes the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin now as I was searching up books for my reading list I was like I want a really really good fantasy novel where like um it's like the end of the world, apocalypse type, apocalyptic type thing. And I came over this one. And I was like, I'm also kind of tired of the whole woman movement type thing. So like, woman power. I was kind of getting bored of it. But then I came along this one. And I read it. I read like the description of it. And it intrigued me. Because it's not a teenage girl, for one. It's a mom. I'm like yes that is amazing have a mom fight through heck through hell to find her daughter i love the idea i think that is great and i think this is going to be one of my favorite books i think because it just sounds so cool and i like that it's a mom i just love that idea that it's a mom and not a teenage girl i mean i love hunger games don't get me wrong i love all those books but it's kind of getting overwhelming so i like that it's a different twist to it so um, the fifth season. Okay, so the fourth book on my reading list is 
by one of my favorite authors, Michael Crichton. It is just amazing. I love him as one of my, he's definitely one of my favorite authors. Um, so I saw that he came out with a new like series, I guess. It's called the Andromeda. Andromeda. But I haven't like I don't know, okay, I don't remember. I don't remember the book that came out. But the book that I'm gonna read, it's the first book, and then there's the second one that came out, is the Andromeda? Andromeda strain, I believe. Like, it, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I just love all his books. I'm like, I want to read a new Michael Crichton book. The only book that I didn't like from him was State of Fear. I love his books and I just wanted to put one of his books in my fall reading list. I'm not even completely sure what it's about. I think it's about a disease. I believe. I completely don't remember. But anyway, one of my favorite writers and one I highly, highly recommend. I believe this is the sixth book. But I have been recommended this book a lot and I've also listened, heard a lot about it and now there's a show about it. So I'm like, I mean, and the show even has um, David Tennant in it. So it's more than likely a very good book. And it's Good Omens. <coughs> Woo! It's Good Omens by, um, I forgot their names, Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Ha, I remembered. Um, so I've heard so many good things about this book. Like it's a whole end of the world demon and angel working together to do something like to, you know, prevent it or something like that and find the Antichrist apparently because he's gone missing. It's a very weird twist to, well, the Bible and I, yes, I am a Christian so I'm like, hmm, we'll see how this works. Like there's been so many stories already like with the whole apocalyptic type thing so we'll see how this one is i'll let y'all know i didn't like american gods that much it was a little too much for me but we'll see how this one is they say it was it's funny and it's really good so i mean and david, david Tennant is playing one of the main characters so i kind of love him i think he's amazing so definitely gonna read those books and then eventually get into the show okay so i thought i have to have to put a self-help book in here or a growth book whatever you want to call it I don't really care and I have a bunch of those that I want to read but I finally decided on one called Mastery by Robert Greene yes yes Green. um and one thing I've been really wanting to do was like tone like hone down on my skills on specifically on writing and storytelling so I think this is a good book to really figure out how to master that craft, right? So that's pretty much why I chose this book. I know there's a bunch of books like that. I also wanted to choose a book on focus, but I can't. I didn't find a really good one. So yeah, those are... So I chose Mastery for that reason. I've heard it's a good book. It's massive. It's like, it's a merely a thick. But I can't wait to read it because I really want to grow in that aspect. Okay, so that is my fall reading list, plus, oh yes, plus, in fall, I love rereading Harry Potter. It's just like, it's like, I want to make it like a tradition where when it's fall, just reread Harry Potter because there are such good books. So I'm going to be rereading re Harry Potter as well, and also, there was something else. Oh, all the stuff that I started to read for college. It's not going to go away. But anyway. Those, that is my fall reading list. Let me know what you're reading for fall and maybe I can add those on my winter reading list because I feel like in winter I'm going to read a ton more cause, especially because we're going to be inside more and yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, but well, thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe and hit the, the notification bell down below because subscriptions literally mean nothing. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.